The other two cases where a limit might not exist are very straightforward. For the limit as x approaches c to exist, f of x has to be approaching some finite number. So the limit will not exist if instead of approaching a finite number, f of x approaches infinity. As an example of this, we might look at the limit as x approaches 1 of 1 divided by x minus 1. Here's the graph and we'll make a table. And we see that as X gets closer and closer to one, F of X isn't approaching any finite number. It's just getting very, very big. And the closer we get to one, the bigger F of X gets. So, since we're not approaching a finite number, that limit does not exist. Finally, it could be that as x approaches c, f of x does not approach infinity, but it doesn't approach a finite number either. And the classic example of this is the limit as x approaches zero of the sine of one divided by x. If we go over to Desmos, you see Desmos is kind of struggling to graph this function near zero. And if you look at a table, as X gets closer and closer to zero, these values of F of X aren't going anywhere in particular. Sometimes they're positive, other times they're negative. Sometimes they're relatively small. Sometimes they're relatively large. There isn't any pattern here. And because of that, this limit does not exist.